do's and don'ts of cardigans because we can look so frumpy in them and yet they're useful aren't they they're useful to keep warm and they're a great layering item and they can actually zhuzh up an outfit if we're doing it right take this cardigan for instance i'm going to show you exactly how this could look so wrong i put this on this morning with some mum jeans i looked so dumpy much shorter than i actually am i know i'm short but still I look shorter, I really look shorter. So I swapped it out, skinny jeans, skinny jeans, much better. And we're gonna go on to the do's and don'ts now. Some cardigans we do not wanna be wearing in 2023, and you probably know this. Waterfall cardigans, no. If you've got those in your house, just keep them for gardening and housework. They're, they're just totally out of date. Also, the round hem, the sort of cocoon shape with uh, pockets in the sides or just a cocoon shape anyway the, that rounded hem that's not really right for, for, for now either but if you've got those barefoot dreams cardigans that are like that just don't get rid of them because they're they're expensive wear them in the house that's what they're for they're cozy wear them in the house keep warm a few years ago we were wearing mid-length cardigans quite a lot and I'm a bit on the fence about those I think they're a little bit out of date I prefer either duster length or this sort of shorter length for a cardigan nowadays the mid length will probably come back if you've got them just put them aside because they're classic they're pretty classic but if you want to look current in 2023 maybe just leave them out classic cardigans can you know the classic sort round neck or v-neck buttons very slim waist length or just hip upper, upper hip length great for the office you know the type of cardigan they can look dated so how can we actually wear those cardigans without looking dated? Don't wear anything baggy underneath. And that goes for any cardigan. Any cardigan you're wearing, avoid a baggy top underneath. Also for any cardigan, and especially for the classic ones as well, avoid a round neck, crew neck top, because that just looks frumpy. So I'll take this outfit here. I'm wearing a classic cardigan using a skirt and a denim skirt because what I wanted to do is actually show a little bit of UV, how we can actually create the um, a youthful look appropriate for our age with a classic cut cardigan. So using a denim skirt but I've, I've got a crew neck, slightly baggy t-shirt, I'm hanging the t-shirt loose as well and this is just a no. So to update it, if I was doing a Gwen, if you've seen the Gwen videos I'll link, I'll link the playlist here Step by step, first of all, swap out that t-shirt for a v-neck because the v-neck elongates and it's showing some skin. Showing some skin is actually going to be, create a more youthful look with that classic cardigan and it's going to elongate that neck. Make the t-shirt a little bit slimmer fit than baggy. Instead of having the t-shirt hanging loose, zhuzh it up, just tuck it under and zhuzh it up, or if you're comfortable, tuck it in. And I'm not saying doing a front tuck because you've actually got the, you know, the cardigan on, so tuck it in all around and you've got a more streamlined look. You can add a belt, add some modern shoes. Currently it would be for the spring, so this would be a spring look, say with a denim skirt. White trainers would be great. Another thing you could do is do up the cardigan Needs a couple, a couple of buttons undone at the top. Do up the cardigan and tuck the cardigan in to the skirt. Or it could be trousers. It doesn't have to be a skirt. And you could add a belt or not add a belt around the skirt or trousers. We do not want to be wearing our classic cardigan with skinny jeans. If you look at this silhouette of this outfit, we've got a skinny, tight, skinny, tight, bulging a little bit at the hips. That's not a modern silhouette. So we need to actually have wider trousers with our classic cardigan. And it might be an idea to actually make them up to date trousers, modern trousers, because that's gonna make the classic cardigan look current. So using some, in my case here, some faux leather trousers that are straight leg, it's a much more youthful look than popping on the classic cardigan with some skinny jeans. If you're enjoying this video, do give me a 
I've taken the same skirt, same same t-shirt, v-neck t-shirt and so on. I've popped on a mid-length cardigan that is a little bit on the loose side. It's got some drop shoulders. It's old and dated. The pockets have got a little bit baggy. And despite everything being the same underneath, it's, it's not as current looking and modern as, say, the classic cardigan. So this is where I'm sitting on the fence. Not only is this cardigan, it's mid-thigh, I just don't think it's right for current, current 2023. So let's talk about the same, this same outfit and proportions. The cardigan for the shorter classic cardigan. Again, I think this is a much nicer silhouette, much, much more current silhouette, much neater. And try a longer duster, a longer cardigan that's more streamlined, a bit of a slimmer fit. That also looks great with any length skirt. Let's look at a long cardigan with a midi skirt. Why does this not work? It's just dragging. It, it's long, it's dragging, it's taking the eye right down to your toes and making you look shorter. It's frumpy. It's frumpy because we've got long and long together. So our midi skirts are better off with a short cardigan. And if you're using a pencil skirt, as in, as in the case of this one, it's also better with a slightly bulkier cardigan. So it's not one that's a bit like the skinny jeans example, where we've got tight with tight. We want to have a slightly baggier, looser cardigan on top above the pencil skirt. So a short because of the length, because of the tightness, slightly baggier. And here we've got the perfect example now of third two thirds, which is a great proportional outfit and will actually make you look taller if you're petite, as well as balanced for everybody. And of course, with a skirt like this, heels, regardless of your height, heels. If you're tall, low heel. If you're short, you can obviously pump it up and have a really big high heel if you can wear the one. I can't. <laughs> so that's about it. Now, a pleated skirt can actually have um, quite a bit of bulk about around the waist. So my pleated skirt's midi length. So the same thing goes, not a long cardigan. That just wouldn't work. When I'm choosing a shorter cardigan to wear with my pleated skirt, I want it to hide that bulk around the waist and not be too tight. So I've gone for a modern shape, hip length cardigan, waist length cardigan. With skinny jeans, we've also said, I've already said, we do not want a short, tight, classic cardigan with that. We want a looser, modern, short cardigan that's gonna give balance up the silhouette. So we've got something slightly wider and bulky on the top, balanced against the slim jeans. Alternatively, if you're wearing baggy trousers like mum jeans, and I sometimes will wear mum jeans around the house, if I pop this cardigan on with those mum jeans, I look so much shorter and dumpier. So this needs, this cardigan needs a skinnier bottom. So quickly, let's go through the do's and don'ts of what with what. A knee length skirt is better with a short cardigan or a duster, in my opinion. A midi skirt is better with a short cardigan. And if it's a tight skirt, it's better with a slightly wider fit short cardigan. And you want to be looking for those proportions of a third to third when you're looking for your cardigan with a midi skirt. Pleated skirt, you want to be covering the hip area. In all examples, we want to be wearing a v-neck underneath. One thing that I like to do is sometimes elevate it slightly and so it's not a, not a v-neck t-shirt, it's a v-neck camisole. With skinny jeans, we want a duster that's gonna skim down the side or a looser fit modern short cardigan. I like, with a, with a skinny jean, I like a, a boxy type cardigan, like this one from The Drop. It's slightly longer, it's wide, it's got pockets at the front and it, it balances out the the skinny of the jean with the cardigan. 